Please start. Pura padhiye, then we'll start. Go explain one by one. Please start. Policy of doctrine of lapse of Dalhousie. Key points of doctrine of lapse. Policy of Dalhousie. According to this, any princely state under the direct or indirect as a vessel control of the East India Company, whether the ruler did not have a legal male hire, would be annexed by the company. This was not introduced by Lord Dalhousie, even though it was he who documented it and used it widely to acquire territories for the British. As per this, any adopted son of the Indian ruler could not be proclaimed as heir to the kingdom. The adopted son would only inherit his foster father's personal property and estates only. The adopted son would have also not be entitled to any pension that his father had been receiving or to any of his father's titles. States were annexed by Dalhousie by applying doctrine of lapse. First, the states of Satara, 1848 AD. Second, Jaipur, 1849 AD. Third, Sabalpur, 1849 AD. Fourth, Bhagat, 1850 AD. Fifth, Udaipur, 1852 AD. Sixth, Jhansi, 1853 AD. Seventh, Nagpur, 1854 AD. Thus, by wars, treaties, and by applying subsidiary alliance and the doctrine of lapse, company could establish its sovereignty in most parts of Indian subcontinent in 1857. So, this was this is the question which has come in your even the UPSC prelims many a times. Are in the following in a chronological order. So, policy of doctrine of lapse was introduced by Dalhousie. Yeah. The key points of doctrine of lapse is policy of Dalhousie. According to this, any princely state under the direct or indirect as a vessel, vessel who, who, who has accepted the sovereignty of the English East India Company, where the ruler did not have a, agar koi varis nahi hai, agar natural koi varis nahi hai to, wo jo kingdom hai kisko chalayata? British Walam. British Walam. Natural war is Rana. Adopted son too. That will, mm -hmm. that will not be the adopted son cannot rule the kingdom. It will go to go to the British East India Company. And you have to remember that dekhe, apply con kia barabar. It was dekhe, introduced. This was not uh, invented by Do Lord Dalhousie. But he applied it to the maximum effect. Dekhe, yaad rekhe, agar aapko question aaya, Lord Dalhousie was the inventor of uh, doctrine of flaps. Statement right here, wrong hai? Wrong hai, sir. Wrong hai. Kyun he did not invent it. Ye pahle se hi tha. He has, kya bolte? he has applied it to the maximum effect to acquire territories of, for the Britishers. Okay. Next, as per this, adopted son of the Indian ruler could not proclaim as waris to the kingdom. The adopted son would only inherit the posters for the posters for the money the, the, the person who has taken, who has adopted the son, the son can only take the person's personal property and estates only. Pura kingdom, my music. Okay. The adopted son would be not entitled to any pension. Bhi nahi dete. Okay. That his father had been receiving or any of his father's titles. Nahi pension milta nahi, kingdom milta nahi, father's ke titles milta. Okay. The state was annexed by Dalhousie. Annexed money taken in. Zabardasti? Lelena. By applying doctrine of flaps. State of Satara Kabliye? When did the state of Satara was taken? 1848 AD. 1848 AD. Jaipur? 1849 AD. 1849. Sambalpur? 1850. Udaipur? 1853 AD. Nagpur? 1854 AD. 1854 AD. So, ye yad rakhye. Satara 48, Jaipur 49, Sambalpur 49, Bhagat 1850, Udaipur 52, Jhansi 1853, and Nagpur. This was the major reason where Jhansi Girani fought the, started the war. 
वेंट अगेंस्ट द ब्रिटिशर्स ठीक है नेक्स्ट नागपुर एटीन फिफ्टी फोर एडी समझ आ गया सो थर्स बाय वॉर्स ट्रीटीज या तो लड़ाई करे फिर उसके बाद में एग्रीमेंट करे अप्लाइंग सब्सिडरी अलायंस एंड द डॉक्ट्रीन ऑफ लैब ब्रिटिश एस्टैब्लिश इट सॉवरेनिटी इन मोस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट बाई एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन सॉन में आ गए क्लियर है यस सर एनी डाउट इन दिस डॉक्टिंग ऑफ लैब्स की पॉलिसी डालाउजी नो राइट सो बाई दिस वी कंप्लीट अवर हिस्ट्री क्लास टूडे ठीक है